Hi guys, welcome back uh, to my channel. Brand new video as always, and as you can see, we've got a new box. Just literally turned up about five, ten minutes ago. Um, it's a pretty hefty box, pretty big as well. I have a funny thing that I know what it is, so it's going to be a bit of a special video as well. Um, in total, this box weighs about nine kilos, so it's quite a heavy box. So, without further ado, let's get these scissors and open this up and see what we've got. Okay. Right, okay. So, that's everything opened. And put the scissors to one side. There we go. Okay, so, we are, as you can see, it's another mold pin set. Um, which you've probably seen in previous videos as well, um, with the uh, train station and and the restaurant as well. Uh, where's the book? Okay, so right at the bottom, and we are building. Mold King set zero set number two two zero zero four, and it's a full Hogwarts castle. Um, total pieces of six thousand eight hundred and sixty-two pieces. So I can move those out of the way. Um, book as always from previous Mold King sets I've done. All the colours, as you can see. As you can see, it's all done quite neatly. Got all the numbered bags in orders, telling you which ones to do. And then, total number of pages is 293, with a total of 1,145 stages. And then when you are done, there are, that's your finished set there. So, let's see how many... Let's go quickly go through. I think that is the last one. So yeah. So with with this, as it shows here, with a total of twenty seven numbered bags or twenty seven numbered stages, whatever which you would like to call it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, that's bag number seven. So you've got a lot lots of light bluish grey bricks inside. Um, Number 20, other things like that. Um, and then at the bottom here, we have these 16 by 16 plates as well. And then as a free gift as well, which I think is pretty cool actually. You get a you you get a brick separator added on to this, but you then also get a hammer, a little hammer, a, brick, a free little brick hammer, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is pretty good. Oh, here we, and also we've got some eight by sixteen plates as well. Um, this is going to be a pretty big build. It's going to be quite enjoy I think I'm going to enjoy building this this one's going to be very special in doing um, but yeah what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the video as it is here now um, I'm going to sort all the bags out into the numbers as they are in the back in the box and then yeah I'm going to make a start I go through and then when I when I've done I'll come back and I'll, I'll tell, show you the finished set of how it is and yeah okay then I'll see you when I'm back, bye bye. Okay, guys, and now we're back, and as you can see, we've we've literally finished building this big thing here. You know, this this set is absolutely massive. The only place that I've got for this now is basically sitting it on top of my fridge freezer, which actually fills it up on the on the top, which is it's the only place that I have. Um, all in all, this set must have took me about five or six days to actually do. Um, 
base was the first thing to actually start off with. You started off with loads and loads of plates, um, and then you started off building off with individual bricks and stuff like that. And that was basically stage one. Um, as you can see, as you can see here, bag one starts off with the with the actual plates. You got the uh, sixteen by sixteen, and then you got the eight by sixteens, the four by fours, um, and then you have to basically complete a whole lot through. Uh, and then you get these little bricks here, place them all everywhere, and then you got some. If uh, where are they? Uh, yeah, it's not that one, but it's the next page. There you go. So this one, you got one hundred and twenty-eight slopes just to put all the way around everywhere the this the, the base was the most time consuming i think um i think this alone just the base from bags one to two uh, as you can see um it's just basically to eight, 18 pages 18 stages as well um must have took me at least three hours just to actually get this lot this whole base done um but yeah that, that was most time consuming um this was just basically built up in a whole different um modular set if you want to call it that and you have to build each rock set up into modulars and whatever else um if i can show you i've got the as you can see here you've got the plates but this definitely came in handy now with me I did it a completely different way um, with this one I had actually tried as a, a trial and error just to see what it was doing here um, but for some reason they just wouldn't stick together so what I had done with the next lot of mod modules which obviously carries on all the way through um, I they actually put the normal plate down first that needs to be put down so as you can see here um, it would go into the next section and I think it was around here somewhere um, I would put the plate down first hammer that down with with the actual hammer and then put these put these parts on uh, first or after I've actually put the plate on um, but yeah like this 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 set was just just pure craziness of builds you know you get individual bags with individual struts and pieces and whatever else really um i mean the last two bags two to three bags were just full of trees here um as you can see at the top there uh, we've got the quidditch pitch uh, just there i think this is the astronomy tower i don't know um but we this this just crazy if i just basically lift up you can see the actual size of this the size of my coffee table near enough basically um but like six to seven thousand pieces just for this set alone is just unbelievable i would highly recommend building this one this one is not as big as the the genuine Lego Harry Potter, uh, Potter Castle, the Hog Hogwarts Castle, but this is like a mini micro scale version of the Hog Hogwarts Castle. Um, so if you really want to build a Hogwarts Castle that is the full, the, like they've got the full lot in like this is, I would advise buying this. Um, I can always leave a link in the description below to, to this set as well. Um, be careful about these blue purple and light blue trans uh, tiles on the in the instructions it does show very close to each other um i got confused with a couple of these somewhere uh, at one point and i had to go through and double check again you got one by twos and then there is uh one by threes just there as well there are a lot of plates a lot of tiles at the end of it you get something really amazing i mean the attention for detail in this is just just really really good 
some pieces can fall off. I mean, the, these pieces here are just held on by one bit here, so they're quite easy to move. Um, so yeah, this is basically the whole set here. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave the video here. Really, really, really amazing set. I enjoy building this. Time consuming with the with the base. Um, but once you've done the base, it get you you get into the main bit. You're going to start enjoying it and whatever else. So I would highly, highly recommend this if you're a good Harry Potter fan or if you know anyone as a Harry Potter fan. So, as always, um, if you like this video, leave a like waiting. Uh, leave a comment if you like this video as well. Uh, if you don't like the video or put thumbs down, then just leave a comment saying why you didn't or something like that. Um, you know, if you're not subscribed, if you're new to the channel, then click subscribe. I always have always try and make new content, make new videos. I have some other videos coming um, in the next sort of couple of days, couple of weeks, or something like that. Um, I, as you saw, I've done my update to my city as well hope people enjoyed that um there are going to be more stuff coming into the city uh in, in the future uh which is going to be really cool fun um but yeah apart from that leave a like rating leave a comment subscribe if you're not subscribed ring the bell you always be notified when i uh put up a new video and uh okay i shall uh catch you guys later Bye-bye.